Why traders S&P 500 corrected some of the previous week's losses and rose by 2%? Despite last week gains, the market remains in downtrend technical formation and the S&P 500 is 8.5% below its peak. A bear market definition is 20% pullback from the peak. The market is far from a bearish definition. However, I believe that the downtrend will continue. Declines are not always a result of economic weakness. After nine bullish years, the fear factor may take the driver's seat and lead to further declines. Let's take a technical view of the market. <music> When I take a look at the S&P 500, I can see that the decline from the highs, as I mentioned earlier, but we are downtrending and we are also building a very nice bear flag formation. In fact, it's a kind of a bear flag uh, a a and a triangle. Usually, it will continue with the trend and very likely, again, technically speaking, will continue lower. So the market does look good for some continued declines. Let's take a look at last pick picks. My first pick uh, last week was ACAD short. It looks great and probably going to continue lower. However, it was a little bit too volatile for me, meaning it triggered, it moved up by 3%. I never lose more than 3%, so ACD is down, is out with a loss of 3%. My second pick was uh, Xerox XRX short. XRX also triggered, looked fine, pulled back a little bit, came close to the, to, to, to the entry point. Uh, we're still waiting for it uh, to continue declining with the market, so it looks well for continued decline. Lines. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is Citigroup, short under $67.50. Citigroup, a big retail and institutional bank, uh, is looking uh, very well for continued declines. A very interesting uh, technical formation of uh, uh, a bear flag. And uh, notice also that it came down on Friday when the market was moving up on Friday. So I expect Citigroup to continue this week. My second pick for the week is Juniper short under $24. That's a nice technical formation uh, that uh, lasts for a long time. You can go back and look uh, at the recent lows a few months back. Uh, Juniper is a provider and developer, also sells net Work, uh, products and services and uh, again if the market's going to continue lower Juniper has a very nice breakdown formation I wish you a great trading week and I'll see you next week thank you for watching this video before you go we invite you to take traders free trading challenge if you succeed you will receive free trading education and access to a $14,000 funded trading account that will allow you to trade from home and keep 70% of your profits. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.